In the eight minutes it took firefighters to arrive on scene, the fire had spread to nearby wildland, and it wasn't long before more nearby structures were threatened. We had about an acre that burned for the wildland. Uh, lost this structure here behind me and a couple outbuildings. Embers from this destroyed log cabin narrowly missed a neighbor's home. Did get really close, extended to the back of his shop. Um, we were able to save that portion. Because of the historically dry conditions, the Illinois Valley Fire District isn't taking any chances containing fires. Uh, ODF also responds in on these type of calls because we know that there's a threat to wildland, so they immediately started to attack the wildland portion. Earlier this month, the Krause Lane fire burned near homes just a few miles away, requiring teams throughout the region to fight back the 58-acre blaze. Temperatures are higher, fuels are drier, so anything can pretty much, you know, light, light the fire off. The cause for both fires is still under investigation, but both are likely human-caused. There's human cause, nature, not really sure. There's no really rhyme or reason right now. This fire just another in what has been a dramatic month for the Illinois Valley Fire District. Anything can end up sparking a fire. If you see something, call 911. Luckily, like the Kraus Lane fire, no one was hurt. However, it left behind a path of destruction, a testament to how quickly these fires can spread. In Cave Junction, Matt Jordan, NBC5 News.